case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for a complex medical malpractice case Quirion v forcier dating back to 1993 and heard by the vermont supreme court centered on a relatively unexplored legal terrain the admissibility of settlement evidence and personal drug use in court proceedings at the core of the dispute Sandra Quirion, the widow of the deceased Peter Quirion, argued that the case was unfairly weighted against her due to the inclusion of evidence relating to settlements with other medical practitioners and records of her deceased husband's marijuana use. Quirion appealed the judgment, which initially found Dr. R. Jackson Forcier and the Hitchcock Clinic not negligent for their treatment of her late husband. Years before his untimely death, Peter Quirion experienced chronic chest pain and sought the expertise of various physicians in Newport, Vermont unable to find effective treatment. Peter's path eventually led him to consult with Dr. Forcier in Hanover, New Hampshire, who contested that the chest pain was unrelated to coronary artery disease. To the family's dismay, Peter Quirion suffered a fatal heart attack shortly after, just over a month later, with an autopsy uncovering obstructed coronary arteries. In a surprising turn of events, the court affirmed the controversial ruling that evidence of the settlements and Peter's marijuana use were indeed admissible to establish the potential bias of a witness in a medical malpractice proceeding. The court further ruled that the negligence of other doctors could not be used to ascertain the defendant's negligence. The precedent set in this case still impacts the way such evidence is used in the courtroom today. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsc.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.